Hello and welcome to this quick tour of my new planning dashboard uh, in Notion. I hope you just had something to eat because I usually get very hungry if I talk about this one. Uh, if you know, uh, if you're into food and uh, try, enjoy trying out recipes, then you know the hassle. Uh, finding new recipes is fairly easy, uh, thanks to the hundreds of food blogs and YouTube channels out there. But it's quite hard to remember your favorites and keep track of all of them. What's more, if I'm hungry, then I usually really don't have the mental capacity to think about what I want to cook. I just need food now. So I need to plan ahead uh, and make sure that uh, someone or something <laughs> tells me what's on the menu for today. So this is a great and fun use case for Notion. Not a lot of productivity here, but yeah, just a cool, uh, cool use case. Uh, your databases are not just for tasks and projects. You can also store a lot of awesome desserts in them. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through this new planning template and how you can use Notion to grow an absolutely amazing collection of recipes. The template is available for free uh, with the link in the description. You can go there right now and download it and then continue with the video or download it afterwards. Uh, and also, if you're only interested in a specific part of the uh, template, then you can check out the timestamps uh, to jump to a different section. That was our mise en place. Now let's get to the most important thing ever, food. Okay. So this is the meal planning dashboard of the template, your kind of control center for everything food. And uh, yeah, at the very top, you have the cool uh, meal planning feature. So as you can see, that might have been the last week. So let's just click quickly uh, clear this out so that we can start from scratch. So uh, we have nothing planned for the week. Um, so yeah, uh, this is how it starts when you have nothing in there. And then uh, you have your board view to uh, yeah, plan out your week. So I can go on all my recipes to see uh, everything that I, that I have. Um, this is obviously uh, the template, so there are not all dishes in there, but you get the trick. You'll get all your recipes here, and then you can just say, ah, oh, well, on Monday, I would like to have some uh, Paneer Frankie, and um, Tuesday, maybe some uh, Alu Gobi. Then I think uh, Wednesday sounds like bruschetta and uh, chocolate cupcakes <laughs> and maybe some mise en soup on Thursday and so on and so on, right? It's simple drag and drop. You can like uh, just like easily um, reschedule <laughs> anything. And uh, at the end of the week, when you're done, uh, you can just like uh, select the dishes like either one by one or all of them. And you just drag them on this no planned uh, uh, property and then it's cleared out again. You can obviously create more views. The ones that you have right here are like A to Z, and then uh, the most recent recipes uh, that you've added, uh, plus also uh, your favorite recipes. These are all the recipes that have received at least like a four star rating of you. So that way, again, you have just like yeah, uh, the, the, the best ones. And again, you have like your two different views, the most recent ones uh, are A to Z. Um, there are also a few other ways to see your recipes. It will show you like your newest ones, right? These are all recipes that you haven't tried yet. The template uh, will figure that out uh, based on whether you've given uh, a dish a rating. So uh, dal I've had and dal is absolutely amazing. So I will get like a five star rating. So now it disappears from my uh, new recipes. But this is kind of to ensure, you know, uh, I'm sure like uh, you, uh, you know the feeling, you have a lot of recipes uh, you, and then you somehow like when it comes to cooking, then you always uh, forget which are the new things that you want to try and cook the same things over and over again. And this yeah, just keeps it on the forefront. If you want, you can uh, write a shopping list directly here, right? You just click on a uh, new shopping list and then uh, you get uh, your list in here. Um, and then you can drag it into the archive uh, when you are done. Um, and then at the bottom, you have another two ways to discover or rediscover your recipes. You have one, uh, I'm feeling lucky property. So this one will shuffle uh, all recipes every time you visit the page. Uh, I mean, if you have only like a few, it doesn't matter too much. But once you have like a, a few hundred in here, right, it's easy to, to forget your favorites. So that uh, with this um, neat little trick, you always see like a random collection of 10 recipes. And uh, similar on the other side, you see recipes that you haven't cooked in a while. Uh, and how uh, this is achieved is based on uh, the last edited property. So um, yeah, if you haven't looked at a recipe for a month or so, uh, it will appear here. And if you uh, don't want to cook that right now, don't want to see that here, you just like tick this checkbox uh, and then it will disappear for another month. And when it comes back, it probably has that checkbox ticked, but then you just untick it and again, it disappears. So this is the dashboard uh, again. Simple, 
but you get uh, all the different views to uh, yeah have have all your recipes and then plan out um, your days. And now let's take a quick look at the actual recipe database. So this is what powers the whole uh, 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 template. As you can see, it's fairly simple. You have the recipe name, you have a type, you can add tags to further sort them, a rating, uh, the plan for property is what powers you know, this nice uh, Kanban view. And then you can uh, write down the servings to remember uh, how many, uh, yeah, how, how big uh, that recipe is. And obviously a few views for different types uh, and uh, you can uh, add a lot more. So yeah, that's basically it. Now I just have to show you how to add a new recipe and that couldn't be simpler. You just click on the, on the new button and then pick, okay, what is it? Is it a cooking recipe, something to bake? Um, let's uh, take something to cook uh, and then um, we are going to take uh, a recipe from one of my favorite food YouTube channels, Ethan. Uh, so it's going to be a marinated salmon in edamame poker bowl. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. Uh, it doesn't have any rating, uh, but like the tags would be healthy uh, and probably fish, something like that. Um, and um, then I'm going to take the URL. So in case I ever need to uh, go back and uh, look at the dish, uh, I can easily find it. And now to make everything look pretty, I'm going to add a cover. Uh, I'm going to uh, click on change cover and I'm going to use the link option. So I will go here and most of the recipes that you find online right today, they have an image here. So uh, we can open the image in a new tab. Da -da -da -da. And then um, we can click on copy image address and paste that here. And now we have the uh, image from the recipe in our database. Now we have, um, let's open this quickly as a page, uh, the ingredients, the steps, uh, notes, and a change log. So uh, for the ingredients, again, uh, we can just uh, go in here and oops, uh, copy um, this out go to Notion and paste it. And sometimes you need to do some tidying up for it. So the heading for this one uh, didn't get it. So uh, get marinated salmon. Oops, and we're also on the wrong side. Doesn't matter. We just uh, will drag this over quickly like this. Perfect. Uh, and then we're going to grab the instructions, copy paste that as well. And uh, that's basically it. Now what we have also are like notes. So if I cook this for, a time, for, for the first time and realize, okay, um, it's super important to remember, I don't know, to take the yogurt out of the fridge uh, before or to, I don't know what, um, that uh, I find, find that my salmon fillets take two hours to uh, thaw, uh, I can write it down here. And um, chances are, if you cook a dish a lot, you're going to make some modifications to it, right? You're going to uh, adapt it to your own preferences. And with the change log, mm, it's very easy to keep track of that. So you just click on the Add Another Change button. Um, oops, I uh, need to up I will update it for the final template so that you actually get today's timestamp, not this one. And then you can just uh, quickly write out, okay, what did you try? What did you experiment with? Because oftentimes uh, you change a few variables and like either it works or it doesn't work. and Mm. If you then cook the recipe again six months later, you're trying to remember, wait, was it actually a good idea what I did last time and what exactly did I do? And yeah, this way you can just very easily uh, remember that and take the guessing game out of it and make sure that you get awesome results every single time. So yeah, now let's go back to uh, the dashboard to see our um, new edamame bowl. Here it is. So in my new recipes to try, so now I can drag it into Tuesday and I have on Tuesday a marinated salmon and edamame poke bowl. And that's pretty much everything about this uh, quick uh, meal planning template in Notion. Okay, so that's how you can use Notion to collect and organize all your favorite recipes and plan your meals for the week. Again, you can download this template for free following the link in the description. I'm also always looking for new recipes to try, so it would be super cool if you could drop your favorite go-to meal in the comment section really want to uh, know what you are all cooking so that I can add some more <laughs> ideas to my database. And yeah, you probably know the drill by now. If you enjoyed this video, it helps me out a lot if you give it a like. 
And as always, if you want to learn more awesome Notion tricks, get regular free Notion templates, and are looking for ways to streamline your workflow, then you should definitely follow this channel. See you in the next one.